everyone. So a lot of people are really excited about the six Dreaming City weapons that have just come back. Uh, they are not craftable. You have to farm them and they have some pretty good roles. So you have like Waking Vigil, Retold Tail, Sleepless, Tiger Spite, Vouchsafe, the uh, Scout Rifle, and Twilight Oath, the Sniper Rifle. Now, a lot of people have been trying to farm these from the Blind Well. If you guys don't know, Blind Well got kind of like a soft reboot with this uh, expansion. It looks like it, it got like a, or this season, it got like a little light boost and uh, it drops all the revamped armor and stuff. And I know like Paul Tassi has been saying that it doesn't drop anywhere near enough of the Dreaming City loot because there's so much other loot that drops from completions. And I just want to say I've been grinding out a ton of this season and uh, that's the wrong way to farm these. These are like guaranteed drops from the extra chests and a lot of the rewards from the coil activity. And I haven't seen anyone talking about it. I got 10, 12 uh, of these weapons over a single activity. It took me about 40 minutes, but the way it works, it's kind of like uh, the uh, layer activity, like the main thing but you just do it a bunch. It's kind of a combination of deep dives and sort of summoning as well, altars of summoning from the last two seasons. So the way it works is you'll load in and uh, you'll get a bunch of these like shards of glass from a vase and you can use them to buy upgrades. And as you are going through the traversal hallways, there's three of these. There's the ones that have uh, the spikes and the slidey traps. There's the ones where the floor is like lava. It's like a poison trap uh, and it'll damage you over time. And then there's the one where you have evading darkness. And if you hit 10, you'll die and you have to stand in the light pool. So those are like your traversal sections. Each time you enter a pathway or like you go through the portal, that's the start of a, a pathway. And it doesn't end until you get back to Riven. And so generally you'll go into a portal and there will be like a small traversal section and then like a mini little encounter thing where you just kill a bunch of ads usually, then another traversal section and then a final boss. And then when you kill the final boss, you go back to Riven, uh, you could spend all the shards that you got on new upgrades. That's one pathway. You can do that four times and then it kicks you out of the activity. As you are going through the traversal sections, there are going to be hidden pots. And when you destroy them with your guns, they will drop white and red moats. White moats are worth 100 points, red moats are worth 500 points. And when you unlock enough of these moats or you pick up enough of them, it will unlock special side rooms, which yes, every traversal hallway has one of these. So every single pathway you go into, there will be two before you get back to Riven. Remember, it's traversal, mini encounter, traversal, boss, and then Riven. So both of those traversal sections will have a secret chest and a ton of urns or vases. And if you break the vases, you will always have enough points if you break all of the vases to get the secret chest. Uh, put on the, if you go to your ghost, uh, if you have a wombo detector or you just have the um, cash chest detector, you'll be able to see them through walls. You can go there. In the rooms, there will always be two chests. There will be the real one, and then there will be a trap one that is over spikes. You can see it. If you try to open the spike one, you will die. You open the real one. And I'm telling you, we we did this three times, the entire thing. So I opened uh, 12, 24 of these chests. And every single time tonight, I was getting a Dreaming City weapon. And you additionally will get them very commonly from the Riven chest at the end of each pathway. Uh, and remember, if you do four pathways, you get that. There's also a secret chest. If you manage to break, it looks like 140,000, uh, you get into this final room. It's called the Chamber of Wishes. If you break 140,000 points, which means you pretty much have to find every single urn and at some point during your run in one of the traversal sections, so you do four pathways, each pathway has two traversal sections. So in one of the eight traversal sections in the coil, you will get text in the bottom that a glass collector has spawned. When you kill them, they will drop a ton of moats, uh, glass shards they're called too. And when you pick them up, um, they'll give you a ton of points. And so if you manage to break all of the vases and do that, you'll have over 140,000. You will complete the run as a platinum run. You will unlock the secret chamber of wishes. There will be six chests in that room. You can open five, open the middle one first. Uh, and that will also give you a ton of these weapons. So if you're wanting to farm the Dreaming City revamped weapons as efficiently as possible, spend a ton of time in the coil. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. Hope you guys are enjoying the season and I'll see you very soon. Peace out.